Hello and welcome to Project Spark. I'm in a, uh, a blank world here and this game is all about making other games essentially and playing other people's creations. Now I've built this boat um, using lots of different props so I've got like a, a giant crate here and some rocks underneath it and some bits of building and I've stuck it all together to make a kind of boat and I think it's kind of cool. I might add a flag to the top actually while I while I think of it. Uh, let's just look through the, the props and look for a nice flag. What could be a good flag? Um, ooh, I don't know. Oh, there's a table. Oh, a weather vane. Oh, I should have a weather vane on it. Ah, oh, it's too late. It's, I, I built it already. Treasure chest might be worth having. Oh, a tower flag. Here we go. Let's just get that. And now we can um, scale it up a bit. Make a big, nice big flag. Yeah, and then we'll maybe zoom in and have a look. Oops. We just sink it down into the into the mast a bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's pretty sweet. Pop that down. I like it. I like it. Yes. What else can we have on our ship? Um, so I'm, I'm thinking of making a game where the ship is kind of like an end goal. You have to race to it and get on the ship uh, before you die, I guess. Oh, look at all these banners here. Oh, a leather bag. Is there anything else I can put on the ship? Oh, this, this looks like a cannonball. Where did that go? Round boulder. We can make it look like cannonballs. I put like crossbows on the side. I guess... Uh, oh. Let's make a little pile of these. That might be quite cool. There you go. It's like a pile of cannonballs. That's pretty swish. Right, so we've got a boat now. Now we need a hero. So let's uh, let's get ourselves a hero. I need a hero. What kind of hero would we like? Some like a villager maybe that's that, that needs to get to a ship. Uh, a peasant squire, woodland peasant, woodland peasant. Fine. Good. Hello, sir. Mr. Woodland Peasant. Ah, oh, he's waving, I think. Pop him down there. Right, now we need to give him a brain. So, just look into his brain. Apparently he's a wandering villager, which is not what I want, so I'm going to load up a new brain, which is third-person brawler, which means we can control him and we can attack with him, like punch and kick and stuff. Let's test the game. Okay, so here I am. This is my woodland villager. He can roll, he can jump, he can hit, he can... Another hit. Bam. And here's our boat. Oh, isn't it grand? Let's see if we can get on board. Huh. Huh. Yeah. There we go. It's all together. It's all, it all kind of sticks together quite nicely. It's a bit dark on this side, I guess, because there's no... The sun is over there. Oh, well. That's cool. So I think the aim of the game will be to get, get to this boat. Now I think we've got a kind of island here. Maybe we can admit like a tropical island and there's like a, a volcano going off in the middle and that's why we have to leave or something like that. That sounds sensible. Uh, okay, maybe we have some enemies like goblins or something attacking as well. Right. So let's get out of here and start building the island. So let's go to the sculpting tools. Turn the in we'll go to uh, the shape will be circular, the scale will be much bigger. Right, so maybe we should go with a square actually, just while we do the island. So let's go with maybe we've got to jump off a cliff to get to the the boat. Um, right, so it's at the moment it's just um, any old crap. So let's. Uh, I think how do we change the paint? Hmm. Ah, I think I need to... I'm on the wrong tool here. I wanted to add tool. There we go. And we'll change the... Okay, we'll go for a... A kind of woodland theme. There we go. Cool. Right, let's zoom out a bit so we can see what we're doing. And turn the scale up massively. Alright, let's build this island. Uh where am I? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. 
Yes. It's been under here. There's like a. Hmm. Is that? Oh, the island comes out that far, does it? Oh dear God. Okay, that's not good. Let's undo that. We can paint that later, maybe. All right, there we go. Let's just go all the way around the edge. There we go. Paint the island in. Whoa! <laughs> All right. And then we'll just paint the middle in. I'm going to go back and detail this later. It's a big island, actually. Probably won't be able to use all of this, because it will take hours to build. But we'll do something. Now, we need a volcano in the middle, I guess. So a big mountain. Um, so let's go up. Build a mountain. Alright, that's pretty good. Make it bigger. If we go for the actual different tool here, if we go to expand tool, make it just pull stuff up. Like, yeah, there we go. That's better. That's a much better way of doing a mountain. Okay, this is looking good, I think. A little bit more here to take away. Just to get the shape better. Oh, not quite that much. Okay, and then maybe build this section up slightly. That's fine. That's a good looking volcano. Uh, right, let's try and bring the beach down a bit then. Um, so we have a beach level. Let's just take out a big chunk here. Screw it. Uh, big nice beach. And... I'm not really sure how to fix that now. Uh, let's go to add. And we'll just um, bring out some square, maybe, with a square one or a, or a cylinder. So it's flat at the top, but we actually end up with. Alright, we don't want. Uh, we need to change this to desert, maybe. That's kind of beachy. There we go, that's a nice beach. All right. Now, we need to paint the sand. Now, I don't. This this is um, f not quite going down to the sea, which is a bit annoying. And I can't really work out how to I, how I could make it just get perfectly down to the sea. So I don't think that's going to happen. Let's look. Um, let's just see what it looks like. A moment. When we test it. So the sand looks a bit weird. I don't think it looks quite like sand uh, this beach is just the way it kind of just stops is really strange um, the mountain looks pretty terrible okay so it's all going well so far <laughs> um, oh god what do I do to fix this okay so there's the beach done it's complete um, right we need to make the volcano look better so I'm gonna add some kind of ash to the top of it to make it look like it's been blowing up and there's like ash everywhere that looks pretty funky what other else have we got maybe we got some snow we could have it snow topped let's see what that looks like let's go to the circle tool and a bit of snow to the top of it maybe let's see how that looks looks pretty good Yes, 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 yes. Now I think we need some better kind of cliffs for the edge, maybe. Oh, let's just fix that little bit there. Get all that nice and snowy. And then go back to this and just do a bit of uh, caretaking with the ash again. What's this one look like? The forest path, this one's called. I think it might be quite good. To the inside. Let's just have a look on the edges and see what the edges look like if I do it in this. Make it give it a bit of you know variation. It doesn't all look the same. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I like that actually. Nice kind of dead brown. We need to have some fire in it, probably. Um so let's go with let's look for some fire. Okay, so uh how do we do this? We go to props, I think. 
and there is effects up here. There we go. So we've got ambient clouds. Oh, they might be quite cool. What do they look like? Oh, they're tiny. Oh no. Oh wow, they're kind of cute actually. Let's uh, let's put a few of these in. Like, how big can I make it? Is that? Doesn't seem to have made it any bigger. Oh, is that it? Oh, oh goodness. Oh wow. Look at that. I like that. Put a few of them around the island. So let's see what it looks like when we test it, actually, in case it looks like crap. <laughs> oh no, it looks good. Some clouds up there. Yeah, the mountain's looking better now. The beach is um, it's better than it was. I put the boat out a bit further and I've made a kind of lower... This is a bit odd, this bit here. That might need a bit of work. So you've got to swim out to the boat now. Yeah, I'm on the boat. I did it. Look, I'm a free. All right, let's edit that. Okay, now we need to add some uh, so some fire and maybe some lava or something like that. I don't know. Let's have a look. What have we got? Um, burning. Oh, fire emitter. Level up. Hay explosion. Fireball launcher. What's this? I've lost it. Ah. Uh, what was that? Fire emitter. Here we go. So, oh, it's very small. Let's make it a lot bigger. Uh, scale. Oh, no. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Let's rotate that. Okay, not quite. It used to be 90. 80, 90, there we go. And this one needs to be... Oh, I don't know what it needs to be. Zero. The hell? Uh, like that. And then... Ah! Aha, this one needs to go up. Okay, there we go. Looks about right. Let's pop that down inside the crater. How's that? Whoa! That looks good. Zoom out a bit. Yeah! Fire! Oh yeah! Maybe another one in there. Look at it some more in intensity. Yeah, sweet! Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, what else? Um, maybe some smoke. Let's give it some smoke. So... Where's smoke? Must be some. Ah, here we go. Smoke. Okay. So let's make that bigger as well. Is it big enough? Maybe even bigger. Because there's a lot of smoke in volcanoes, isn't there? Let's pop that there, perhaps. How does that look? Whoa, that looks badass! Let's look at that from a, a test tip point of view. Holy crap, it's really going. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so there's our volcano and our island and our ship. Now we actually have to have some other things around, like trees and cliffs, so we can't just like walk straight across the island. We need a good path to be given. Now, I guess this beach kind of works as a, a way to get around to the ship. Oops. Let's fix that up. <laughs> T R E E tree. Aha. Okay, so woodland tree young. Oh, there's lots of woodland trees. Okay, let's pop pop a bunch of trees around. Alright, let's move um, our character over to the beginning and see what it's like to cross the island. Come here, you. Start you over here somewhere. 
Let's test. It's a bit dark. So this is the forest. It's not particularly dense as a forest, but I guess that's pretty good for a game. It's quite nice though. And then there's the beach here where we walk along. Do 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 and all the time there's a big volcano raging. And there's the boat. Our freedom awaits. Fantastic. Right. We need to make it so that you can't travel the other way, so let's build a big kind of mountain range here. There's probably a way. <laughs> There's always a way to climb these things. That's where the hardest part of making a game is stopping people from climbing stuff like that. Doesn't look too possible. You can definitely get up the first bit, but maybe not the second bit. Yeah, I don't reckon you could do that. Cool. That's good. Right, let's let's just add some more props to this forest to make it look more of a more of a forest, and maybe paint the grass a bit. That's a good idea. Let's paint on the uh, different colours. Paint on some of this stuff. A bit more of a woody feel. Okay, so there's the beach in the forest. Now I just need the village to start off in, I guess, and then some enemies. These look like buildings. There we go. Let's just zoom in a bit. Yeah, there we go. One building. Let's just uh, rotate them around a bit, have a couple more. One over here in the dark. Another one over here. There we go. Okay, must be someone else in here as well. Skip forward again to where I was. It was rustic stuff. Oh, there's an outhouse and a forge. Oh, yeah. Gotta have a forge in a village. Okay. There's loads of things to build villages out of, isn't there? Like, there's a well. You need a well, you need a well in a village, don't you? Right in the middle. Maybe offset somewhere, like over here. There you go. Nice well. Um, okay, so here's our village. Got a nice little fire in the middle now. And, yeah, it's looking good. I think that's fine. Ready to go. Let's just paint the floor so we've got some paths in it. Let's go to the paint tool. Yeah, let's get some paths done. To change the scale of this nice and small. Nice and small. Right. Yeah. Just pass between people's houses. Quite realistic, isn't it? And the forge, you can have a lot of paths around that where the guy works all day. Working nine till five. Why can't I? There we go. All right. Nice looking village. Right. Let's just add a little bit of path through the woods. Just so the player knows maybe where to go. And then we can end up by the beach. Okay, let's test it. Let's look at the village, shall we? Up close. Quite dark, isn't it? The sun's on the complete wrong side of the island. It's been blocked by the volcano. Oh no! That's not good. If you fall in, you're screwed. Okay, let's, let's just sort that out. Test again. Okay, so here's the village. Oh, isn't it pretty? I need to have some like NPCs here now, and they'll say, 
Son, the volcano is erupting. You better get to the other side of the island where the boat is. I don't know why they're northern. Oh no, I say, I better get there. Pew pew, and then I can like pick up my sword and, and, and fight the horde. I don't know, we need some like goblins or orcs or something on the way. Uh, and then you got to fight your way through the forest, and then you got to fight your way across the beach. Or something. I don't know. And then get to the... But it's really not that far away, is it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was miles away. It looks like it's miles away. We can add some villagers. Let's do that. Okay, now we've got... Peasant female... Put a couple of female peasants around. And maybe a couple of male peasants. Or oh, a ranger. What else? Uh, yeah, meet some males for the females. <laughs> uh, there we go. Woodland peasant male. Okay, and maybe one of the rangers, a male ranger. It's a big village though, maybe I'm not. Let's just start this test. Hey guys. That's it, they're just wandering around. All in the same direction. Okay, good. Greetings, adventurer. I'm here to help. Are you helping me? Oh, I've got a follower. Oh, cool. That's good. Hello? Greetings, adventurer. Greetings, adventurer. Greetings, adventurer. Greetings, adventurer. Well, good grief. So I've got a friend. Oh, that's cool. So that she could come with me on, the, on my, my way out. Okay. Let's see if we can change what they say. So let's zoom in and have a look at which one's me. That's me. So you. Brain. Okay, so, uh, how do I change what he says? Uh, moving. Oh, that's page two. Greetings, adventure hero. Here we go. Here we go. New text. <laughs> okay. Is, it, is this going to work? I have no idea. Oh! No! Exclamation mark. Where's that? Sim left trigger. Symbols. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, the... Volcano... Oh god. <laughs> this is annoying. Imagine doing a whole adventure like this. <laughs> you need a keyboard. Vol. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Vol. K. No. Why do I always do volcanoes in these games? I can't even spell. Um. Vol. Whoa! Vol. K. No. Is. Erupting. Exclamation mark. Okay. Let's see what happens. So that was him, the person to the left of me. Is this going to work? Oh no! The volcano is erupting! <laughs> Greetings, adventurer. <laughs> oh no! The volcano is erupting! Okay, awesome. That works. Um, it's changed all of them to say that. Or maybe I can change something, say something else. Uh, okay, so you... You want to say... Um, Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. 
Okay. Now I can just go through all these and just pick that text, I think, because it should have saved as a string. So there we go. Brain, page two. Greetings, adventurer. Changes to... Uh, to go to the boats. And same with you. Page two. Greetings, adventurer. Changes to... Oh no, the volcano's erupting! Oh no! And one more, I think. Oh no! Is that it? Is that everyone? Maybe not you. No, that is, that is all. Okay, let's see if this works. Hello? We have to get to the boat, but it's on the other side of the island. Oh no, the volcano is erupting. Take me with you. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's pretty funky. Almost oh, a fence in my way. Okay, so I have to get to the other side of the island. Oh my god. Okay, now we have some enemies. We're getting there, guys. This is going well. Okay, so let's zoom out a bit. Right. So enemies, let's see. We can have goblins. Goblin bruisers. Let's put them all over the place. Okay. Lots of goblins. Let's see if what happens when we fight them in the forest. Take me with you. Okay, come with me. Let's go and fight these bad guys. I don't have a sword, so I've just got to punch stuff for now. Hello. Die. Die. Oh, they didn't take too much killing, but there's a lot of them coming up now. Oh, yeah. Is this my guy helping me? Where's my follower? Oh, she's shooting now. She's got a bow. Oh, yeah. Ruining them. They're too easy. There's more of them over here, though. Hello. Oh, my God. Okay, it's going well. It's quite fun. Fighting the goblins. Yeah, I'm liking this. All right, that's good. I think there's that's quite a good amount of, of goblins there. Let's um, maybe add a harder one on the beach. Like a harder enemy. Um, what if we add... Oh, I've got an idea, actually. If we add... Uh, there's a Yeti. He's got like a really cool move set. He's got all these like abilities and stuff. But if we swapped his mesh to be a goblin, that might work. We call it like a goblin boss. Put him on the beach here. So now if I if I go um into his edit and I go swap mesh and I pick like um a goblin scavenger. Yeah, and I make him bigger. Like that. Let's see if if he's going to be hard to fight. We'll move him over to um, the beginning so I can test it. Oops. Well, that was sucked. Uh, come here, you bloody goblin. All right. So we'll put him in the village and see what happens. Test. He's big. He's big and scary. Okay, there he is. This seem, doesn't seem to be doing a lot, does he? He's just kind of flailing around. My archer's just ruining him. Well, that doesn't sound good. Oh! Okay, he's got like a frost attack, hasn't he? Because... He's meant to be a yeti. That's fine. 
That makes sense. Not. The archer is just destroying him. That's. He's a bit too good. I think maybe we'll have to remove that archer. He's dead. Okay. Um, okay, let's take the archer out because he's too strong. He just killed the, that big guy. I think also we could change slightly his attacks so that they happen a bit faster. Um, and make him aggro a bit further away. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, yeah, that's better. Oh, yeah, he's really hit me now. If as long as you keep hitting him, then you're fine. Maybe uh, maybe my guy's a bit too good. Yeah, you can just keep hitting. All right, let's have a let's have a look at my guy, and um, let's look in his brain, and we'll see how often he attacks. So when. X is pressed, attack with wind up heavy. So when X is pressed, attack. Now, is there any way I can make that slower? With wind up without hit reaction. Without hit reaction. Oh, there we go. That's going to be a lot harder. Okay, let's try that. So then he won't flinch when I hit him. I assume. Oh god, yeah, flipping egg. Oh my god, that's gonna be really hard. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. So we can make him his attack slower again. Oh uh, god. <laughs> he totally ruined me. <laughs> so we wanna make this uh, what was it? I can't remember now. Let's make it three now, because it's gonna be a lot harder. And then this will be like five. Let's see how that is. And hopefully I'll be able to dodge his attacks if you're good. Like Dark Souls style. Oh my god, no. Wow. This is really rock hard. So I'm trying to wait for the end of his combo maybe. Done. Two, three, hit and roll. Oh no, the volcano is erupting. Ah, oh shit. I've made it too hard. <laughs> oh god. Uh, equip Yeti's club. Oh, that's what he's holding. I can make something else in. I can make him hold something else. That's pretty cool. I can make him hold. Let's give him like a a bone. A huge femur. How oh, that look like? Let's have a look. Oh, I can't really see it. I guess it's not very big. Oh well. Let's give him back his give him back his Yeti bone. His Yeti club. Yeti club. Or maybe I could give him like a tree or something. A fence plank. Oh, this thing's quite good actually. This heavy fortified fence post. That'll be a good weapon. Let's see what that's like. Holy crap! That's scary. He attacks so fast. <laughs> no way! Oh my god, I've made him attack like a maniac. Uh, I'm not sure how I've done this, and I'm not sure how to fix it either. Um, I took out the wind-up thing, didn't I? There we go, that's what that'll do it. Uh, so, attack. Okay, I need to add here. Modifiers with wind-up. Okay. Let's see if that fixes anything. <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, 
Yeah, you, you can you can escape that now if you if you're good. It's like a Dark Souls fight though. <laughs> no way! Whoa! This is a good boss though. Screws. Whoa! I don't want to give him this. I don't think this weapon he's got is quite right for him though. So let's um, let's leave that and change his weapon. All right, let's give him back his Yeti Club. There we go. All right, so let's move him again back to the beach because I we I think he's good enough to be the end boss. Definitely, he's pretty tough. God, this is gonna be pretty. This is gonna be pretty hard, I think. Oh, where's my boat gone? Oh, there he is. Phew. Oh god, I thought I'd lost it. That took so long. <laughs> All right, we'll put him on the beach near the boat. Oh, how do I get him down on the floor? Okay. Just rotate him so he's facing the the, the players as they get near. Right. Now, can I make some goblin archers? So let's pick a few more goblins. Um, place. Hang on, let's rotate him around. Place him. Now, let's see if we can equip him with a bow. Brain. So, does he equip with anything at the start? Okay, when. Um. Timing once, uh, objects, items, equipment, equip, uh, objects, gallery. So now we can maybe pick a bow. I'm not sure if it's actually give him a range attack or what. Um, we'll find out, I guess. Bow. So there's a crossbow. All right. Let's just pick this guy up and see if he does any shooting. Shootings. I probably have to make him shoot, actually. Um, yeah, that's a good point. I'll probably have to. So let's pop him over here. And look in his brain. Uh, attack. Light. My enemy. We've wind up. In combo. Okay, let's change attack to shoot. Shoot. My enemy with wind up. Okay. We'll change this number to something much higher. 17. Okay, let's try this. So he should be shooting now, shooting his crossbow. Why isn't he shooting? He's got a crossbow. Oh, is he shooting it? No. <laughs> He's just kind of hit, kind of pushing me. I don't know why that's happening. <laughs> I should don't know why there's two of them. Which one did I change the brain on? This one. Okay, let's see if this guy will shoot us then. Test. Oh my, oh he's shooting me! Like as an, as an object, <laughs> I'm actually being shot. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the bullet in this case. Um, that's strange. Let's just change that a little bit because that's a bit wrong. Brain. <laughs> so shoot, okay. So I need to change this. This needs to go. Shoot. Um, 
Uh, object. Let's find a crossbow bolt. Here we go. Crossbow bolt. With wind up. Um, I guess that will work. Let's see if this works. <laughs> that was really odd. <laughs> okay, he's shooting. Oh my god, he's rapid firing. Uh, and at nothing in particular. Ow. <laughs> Why is he just not... <laughs> That's really odd. Okay, let's change that. Um, shoot. Okay, how do I add direction? Uh, modifiers at... Okay, uh, objects, player. So he shoots crossbow bolt with wind up at player. Now I need to make it so it's not quite so frequent. Um, and how do I do that? Okay, let's see if this will work. Test. Ah, he's shooting me. It's working. Okay, it works. The archer worked, and it's, it attacks between what, three and five seconds, which is good. Okay, perfect. Let's just have him so he actually comes at us. It doesn't seem to be coming at us. Uh, where my distance to the enemy is less than 20 and greater than 17, move towards my enemy. Okay, so that's fine. I think that works. Let's just add another line that says... Um, hang on. Um, when... Uh, no, let's just go do... Uh, movement, uh, turn, um, slowly, um, uh, towards, how do I do that? Toward, uh, player. Okay, so now he should always be turning towards me. And when I get too far away, he'll he'll follow. Let's try that then. Okay, so if I he can shoot me, I can dodge them. And if you if I run too far away, he should start chasing. I think. No. Oh, he shot that guy. Die, goblin! Alright, well that's, I guess that kind of works. Let's just quit out, and we'll copy him and put him around the place and have a few archers around the place. Um, let's put one in the forest here. Just have a one last look at his brain. Let's just check that he's actually coming towards me. Move towards my enemy. Let's just change this number to a little bit higher. So let's go for... Um, let's go for... 25. And change this to... 12? No, actually, 17 is fine. I think that should be fine. Move towards my enemy when is less than 17 shoot crossbow bolt at player let's make this a bit higher actually let's make it 35 okay okay cool so there's another arch let's put a few arches down just a few just to confuse people and a couple on the beach in case they decide to come this way. Yep. Looking pretty dangerous. Oops. Undo. How do I get rid of that guy? There we go. And I'll give this guy some matches as well. Because that will make him even harder. 
Okay. Holy crap, this is going to be tough. Should we try it out? Oh my god, guys. The volcano's erupting. Oh, oh no. I don't have a weapon. I was going to put a sword in. Oh, let's quickly just put a sword in before we do this. Um, I want to. Just, I want to have a weapon that you can pick up. I'll get a wooden sword, and I'll lean it against one of these things. Um, okay, props. Let's find a sword. Cool. And it will be a knight's practice sword. And I'll just lean it against this uh, this forge like that. Awesome. I wonder if I can make the boss drop a better sword. Because it's always good to get loot in games, isn't it? It's always fun to get a bit of loot once you finish something. Even if you don't get to use it, so let's uh, let's see if I can get this guy to drop a sword. So when he dies, where's his death screen? Freeze blast. So you can attack. When is dead, done executing. When is dead, let's add another thing to, for that then. Um, when is dead, uh, create. Create, object, item, equipment, equipment, object, gallery picker, the fight is legend sword. So when, when he dies, he should have created that sword. Well, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Let's try it out. Okay. Hello. Oh my God. No. The volcano's erupting. You have to get to the boats on the other side of the island. Okay, I need to pick my sword up. Here it is. Here's my sword. I've got my sword. Let's go and fight the goblins. Da -da 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 -da. There's a goblin there. Die, goblin. Thank you. Oh, the archer's... Sh oh my god, the archer's tough. Holy crap, this is not easy. <laughs> I've made a really hard level. And there's so many more goblins to come as well. Ow! Jerks! Okay. Hello! Oh shit, you gotta, get, you gotta get, take the archers down first, I think. It's pretty important. Whoa! Maybe I should have health potions or something. So I don't think I don't have hit reactions for any of these things, which is why they don't get knocked back anymore. So it's actually much much harder um, than it was. That's good though. It's good to be hard. Otherwise, it's going to be too easy. I mean, I'm still I'm still killing them, even though I've lost a lot of health. So the end boss is going to be a bit of a tricky one. Roll. It's all about the rolling, isn't it? It's like Dark Souls. I've made Dark Souls, but like cartoony. <laughs> right. There's some archers down here. I know that. Where are you, bloody archers? There you are. Oh, don't shoot me. Oh, God. I'm dead. <laughs> That's it. I died. Oh, no. Um, I need to add a heal in somehow, don't I? Let's have a look at my character. I I got I still got, I got B. No, B is heal isn't heal. When Okay, let's see if we can add a ability in. When um trolls controller uh left trigger is pressed 
do um, combat heal. Um, objects player. Okay. Heal player when left trigger is pressed. Let's see if that works. I need to take some damage first, don't I? Hit me! Okay, left trigger. Oh, it heals me! Okay, how much does it heal me by? All the way? These goblins don't seem to hurt much, do they? Oh, there we go. Okay, now I'm taking quite a lot of damage. Let's see if I heal all the way up. No, it's slower. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That works kind of well. Let's, let's quit that. Let me just add an effect onto that, though, just to see, like, show that we are healing. And do... Um, create... Play... Play FX... Oh, here we go. This is it. Play effects um, on um, player object gallery picker. All right, this will work. I'm sure. Magic aura. Whoa! Why doesn't that work? Play effects, magic aura on player. That works better. So when left trigger, heal player, play effects, magic aura on player, um, and and play uh, sound. Objects, gallery picker. Ah, <laughs> all these sounds. Hmm. There's loads of them. <laughs> There we go, Magic Aura. Let's see if that works. Please work. Please work. Please work. Yeah, look at that. Very cool. So you can hold it down whilst attacking, which is a bit cheaty. It feels. It feels like that's a little bit cheating. What if we copy this line and go to the next page and paste that and when um, the trigger is released, go back to page um brain switch page uh to page 1 so when you release it, it goes, so when you okay so okay this this will work so when you release it you go back to page one, which means you can attack, but you can't attack until um, while you're holding it down. So now you need to go back to page one and have delete uh, this line and this line and this and this. And when the left trigger is pressed, go to page um, 
switch page to page uh, two. Let's try that. That should work. So it changes his his um, everything. So you can't do anything when you're healing, but when you release, you can. Oh, okay, there we go. So you hold it down. Ah, but then he can't die when he's healing either. Oh, my controller's getting low. Ah, so we need to have um, have him able to die <laughs> when he's when he's healing. Um, okay, so we'll copy that, and paste that here. Display health, and um. That should work now. Let's just see. Maybe he can die. Maybe he just can't see his health. Let's try. Oh yeah, you can definitely you can definitely die. Let's take a lot of damage and see what happens when we try and heal. Okay, it does seem a bit strong because it means you can just stand there and take take a punishing when you're healing. So maybe it's worth changing the healing effect and making it slightly less powerful. It does seem to work though. It works really nicely. Um, okay, so ma heal player. I wonder if there's a modifier for heal. Let's heal for, for 1.5. There we go. So now I think that should mean that we won't be able to just stand with a whole load of goblins attacking us and heal up. Probably. So just so you've got into some trouble, we're about to die. Start healing. So it does heal us, but I think they can hurt us faster. So you have to get out of the way. Maybe jump down into the water and then heal up here. Okay, yeah, so that's it's it's useful. There we go. Oh that healed me all the way up. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh no, I think the bar just displaying wrong. Right, I wanna play through this just once. See if uh it all works. And then I'll publish it. Maybe add some music first, but I'll won't do that on camera. So yeah, we gotta go, we got this oh I've gotta get my sword. Can't forget my sword. Well, I don't, I don't like that the volcano is so hard to actually see. Oh shit. You've really got to like look for it. Um, which is a bit of a shame. I think maybe it should have been lower. Or further away. Maybe in the distance. Rather than just right next to us. Oh, I'm swimming around here. Okay. Ah, goblins. They're attacking. The archers do an incredible amount of damage actually, don't they? Oh. Ow. Yeah. Take it. Right, let's kill these. Th oh. Right, we need to kick the archer out first, don't we? He is priority number or one. Ah. Ah, the way. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Oh, dead. Right, seal up. Does take a while. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit too slow. Maybe I should change it from 1.5 to 2. Shimmer can't have it so you can only do it out of combat. That's, that's probably a better way of doing it, but I'm not really sure how to how you'd even go about doing that. Right.
die. But you attack super fast when you're like mid air. Oh, I think I can hear the hear the giant goblin yelling. It's a lot easier than it was now. Good. That was pretty hard before. Maybe not quite too hard. Maybe a bit easy now, but either way, we've got to fight this guy. Let's see if we see if we can do this. Ha ha! Ooh. Oh my god, he's scary as hell. <laughs> He's definitely beatable though, if you keep rolling away. Yeah, he's got to get the timing right. And then he does that thing, which I don't didn't expect. Ow! <laughs> Listen to him scream. Oh! Ow! Oh god, I can't die. No! Oh god! I want to beat him! I want to see if he drops the loot. <laughs> Isn't, he hasn't done his um, freezing attack yet. I don't think he does it anymore. I think I might have broken that. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oof! Flipping heck. Heal! <laughs> oh no! Come on! <laughs> he is tough! He is really tough! Okay, so the final test for the last time. Okay, so I kill the boss, he drops his loot. There's a little cheer. I get on the boat. And then it fades into the distance because I'm safe and sound away from the volcano. And game is over. There you go. So I'll put the goblin's health back up. I'll put my guy back to the start. And um, then I'll publish it and then see if you guys can beat the goblin. Because I couldn't. He was really hard. So I'll just put his health back up to it was 600. Holy crap. Maybe I should put it down to 500 just to be a bit nicer for you poor guys. Uh, there you go. Set number 500. Perfect. I'll move my guy back to the start. Just one last look at the island. The awesome volcano island that I've made. It's pretty cool, I think, for what I've done. It's taken a while, but I like it. The clouds are nice. The fire's nice. The forest is nice. The enemies are good. Um, the boss is good. It ends, there's loot, oh, everything, it's a bit of everything. I could put a timer on so you've got a certain amount of time to finish it before the volcano kills everyone, but I think that's a bit harsh because people wouldn't take the time. And The healing thing was pretty cool as well, I managed to get that working quite nicely. So that's all good. I'll pop my guy down here by the forge. Maybe he's the blacksmith, who knows. Put him down, and there we go. I'm done. Hopefully um, I'll get some people to play it, maybe Simon and Lewis, and then you guys can play it as well. See if you can beat the Goblin King. Anyway, until next time, goodbye!